Blizzard Opala SS Coupe by Farm Central Soul on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the uh, Rock Crawl by Alien Jim uh, to test out this this um, vehicle. Um, the description says it's a Brazilian vehicle. It's basically a um, based on a real vehicle from 19... 66 68 1968 um a amalgamation of opal and gm the impala thus the opala name uh but it's not because chevy is not a um licensed brand <clears throat> we have the lizard opala ss coupe but it looks pretty much the same so having said all that 13.75 megabytes download 10 slots on console we'll find it under vehicles and cars and there it is twenty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars definitely wouldn't be the original price uh probably around the thousand or fifteen hundred dollar marks something around there but anyways 80 to 205 horsepower 54 liter of fuel capacity 86 miles per hour 1.2 tons we have engine setups a 2.5 liter four cylinder 80 horsepower we have the 90 horsepower 2.5 four cylinder 3e uh, 112 horsepower 2.5 four cylinder solex h34 and then up to the 121 with a 4.1 liter v or uh, six cylinder could be inline six not sure and then 141 the four cylinder or sorry 4.1 six cylinder and then 171 and then the 205 uh, horsepower engine windows no or smoked light black dark black or no we have our choice of rim colors which has a variety of colors that's the central the center uh, as you see there main color we can make it let's make it purple why not there we go lots of custom colors Design color, that's you're going to be your roof. Nope. Where did they go? Design color. Yes, design color is going to be the roof. And then let's not make that. Let's make that chrome. Can we make it a chrome? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and then rim color. I was going to make that something. Let's make it pink just to show you what that looks like. So, not a whole lot of extra charges there. 300 bucks. So, pretty reasonably priced. However... Let's hop in, get our help window on. Oop, that's really close. Um, let's start it up. Interior. Um, is it just me or is that steering wheel unusually small? It does look very small, especially for that year. I don't think there was power steering. That would have been a really big steering wheel. Just a minor thing, um, really, really minor thing. Actually, there is one other thing that is actually a little bit more troubling but we have l1 and right stick left and right you can open and close the door r1 and right stick open and close that back door and that's it for um operations we have signals let's turn the lights off so we can see the signals there we go now I have automatic transmission setting turned on in my because I manual transmission is difficult to work generally with a console but it isn't impossible however um, this one stuck in first gear with the automatic so I wonder well what about the other ones I have two other engine options over here and uh, then we're going to switch to a manual transmission actually really so horn that's not surprising all right so this one we're basically stuck in second gear oddly enough um that's the uh, 171 horsepower and i have the uh I have the top 200 horsepower one here 
and it too is stuck in second gear so what I'm gonna do is go into my settings and change it to manual transmission settings so that I manually can change the gears all right so it's in general settings it's under input controls and what we got here is automatic so here we go manual transmission let's get back in now you have to be going forward as in going forward to be able to switch the gears with your R, uh, your d-pad up and there we go fourth fourth gear there we go so it does go pretty good in manual but unfortunately if you don't like using a manual transmission the, the transmission is pretty much pooched so it's kind of like <clears throat> kind of like the old days where the transmission was acting up and it would only shift when you actually shifted the gear even if it was automatic you know putting it into low one two drive that kind of thing but anyways let's take it for a little bit of a spin up this uh 87 miles it doesn't even look like i'm going 87 miles an hour really it doesn't but anyways up we go <laughs> like the streets of san francisco it was a tv show oh ah oh uh, ow 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 okay there we go oh not reverse let's see if we can make it up this shift shift oh shift down oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> oh i'm in neutral why isn't it not letting me okay right um let's uh let's check out the handling a little bit it seems to be pretty stiff like Even when you're shifting, it's, it, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, it's going to need a little update to the uh, transmission for it to work in automatic setting. A little slidey, but it's not, it, you're not going to roll it over. So, kind of neat if you don't mind shifting manually. Hopefully it'll get a, a little fix to its um, the automatic transmission setting. But there you have it. That's the Lizard Opala SS Coupe by Farm Central Soul on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And oh yes, if you want to rate this mod, please don't forget to go into your in-game mod hub or your downloaded uh, your downloaded uh, mods and you can go in there and rate this mod and let the let the modder know what you think of it all right thanks for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now